Mr. Truck here. We are in Broomfield, Colorado. We just got through driving all the new Super Duties for 2017. F-250s, F-350s, F-450s. Driving them all over, up in the mountains, everywhere else. Beautiful scenery out here. Pulling big trailers. We pulled 30,000 pound gooseneck from Load Trail on those green trailers. We pulled 10,000 pounds in the Cimarron horse trailers. We pulled 10,000 pounds in these cargo trailers. And we've tested them all out. It's great. So much to know about these trucks. So many options that they have. They're like space shuttles. A lot of electronics on here. We'll bring you as many facts as we can. Plus, we'll start doing more to more poles in the mountains to show you what they'll do at grade at altitude. You always want to test that. So <laughs> New Ford trucks in the Super Duty line. The aluminum body is, of course, the big story. Same cab as the F-150. Uh, it's a beefier aluminum bed. That's new for this truck. So it's a little more of a heavy-duty bed than what the F-150 has. Uh, you know, the, the diesel's got more power. It's 440 horsepower, 925 foot-pounds of torque. So that's class-leading. New fuel injectors. Uh, the gas engine, the 6.2, is up to 385 horsepower, 430 foot-pounds of torque. And if you get the highest uh, rated F450, you can tow 32,500 in a gooseneck. And actually, the one ton, the F350, will now tow 32,000 pounds. The, um, the two, and that's with both of those with a three inch ball. On the two and five sixteenths ball, the highest rating is 27,500. And also, the new receiver hitch is a three inch. I'm surprised they don't call it a class six or something, but. It's actually rated without weight distributing on the F450, clear up to 21,000. Uh, new shocks, new springs, thicker springs, a bigger eye in the uh, leaf springs, bigger bushing. Larger brakes, they're almost an inch larger on the front on an F450, F550, and they're about a half inch larger on the rear. Uh, the brakes on the 250 and, and basic 350 are the same. Uh, the trailer sway on this comes on earlier, so it's not as eruptive. Right now, it's pretty aggressive if you actually get to the point where you use trailer sway. So this is better for that. Uh, it's got a two-stage exhaust brake. It's got an auto exhaust brake and a regular exhaust brake. Exhaust brake, normal one is full exhaust. The second one, uh, you can almost use it like, like cruise control. You put an automatic brake, step on your brake, and that's where it holds you. Uh, of course, the, so is the new adaptive cruise control, which I love. That's the radar, which actually locks on the truck in front of you and you can do that with a trailer. That's the only vehicles you can do that with is these Fords of the F-150s the same way. I really like that. Super Duty's now has seven cameras. They've got uh, the vinyl floor. You know, I'm, I, I get some mud in everything I do, so we use floor mats, but you can get a vinyl floor all the way up to the very top line. You know, even past the King Ranch, the Limited, all those. They now can come with a, with a vinyl floor that you can just hose out because, you know, I, we, haul, we drag a lot of mud and other things in these trucks. Uh, it's got new hydraulic cab mounts on the crew cab and super cab. That's new for this year. And a new running board that is longer instead of all this stuff jumping up and down and sliding forward and back. This one is like what I like, like an aftermarket. The running board goes from wheel to wheel, so nothing has to move. And you can step up on there uh, on these taller beds or an inch deeper. And the truck's a couple inches taller. And you can reach your crossover toolbox. Uh, you know, these, that's a little bit to get used to. They've actually blocked these trucks up, so at full maximum trailer capacity, they will squat about one degree, where they used to squat a couple degrees. I like that. The new boxed frame all the way front to back. It's now like a three-piece frame. Heavy-duty, higher-strength steel. The cab and chassis still have a C-channel behind the cab and that narrow frame for the bodybuilders to add to it. Uh, different transmission on the gas engines on 250s. Well, you can't get the, I guess the 6.8s available on the cabin chassis. And so you still have the, the heavy-duty transmission there, and just like the diesel has. The 6.2 has a new G transmission, which is a little different gearing. It's built a little different. Uh, it used to be they were all the same transmission. Now it's a special transmission just for that 6.2 gas engine. And uh, we'll see how well it performs. So they call it a, a light duty, heavy duty, and so it's kind of confusing, but uh, we'll see if it gets better fuel mileage. Of course, the trucks are lighter now, so we should see a little better fuel mileage just from that. We'll see what else it gives us. 
for the fuel mileage. But these trucks, they're like, it's a whole new world out there. They got so many cameras, so many uh, devices for blind spots for your trailer. You got a camera trailer you can put on there. You actually have trailer tire pressure monitoring. Uh, all those things come out with this new truck. So it's, uh, it would take, uh, take several videos to get all this out there, but we're going to try to cover as much as what's new in these first few videos. And then, of course, we'll get them to Colorado where they're at now, where we can drive them more and more in higher mountains and the passes and see how well they do at altitude. That would be a big thing. But these new receiver hitches, you can use them with the same weight rating and weight distributing or weight carrying. So now we can finally stop using weight distributing on uh, these bigger trucks that don't need it. And, you know, the way the giant three-inch receiver hitch is on the new, uh, new Super Duties. 2017 Super Duty from Ford. This is a 350. But I'm going to show you the plugs in the back. This, this is new. You've got the normal RV plug. And then the one below that, which has a special way of attaching it, is your 12-pin, your new one. This one is what gives you the optional options for the rear camera on the trailer. So you can see what's behind the trailer. And it also, uh, as an option, you can do the tire pressure monitor team monitor, monitoring on the trailer, which is cool. So now you got two plugs. One's a normal 7 one. We know how we got to keep scratching them off to make the corrosion. This one's got a special kind of a gasket to seal it. It also has a place to put on a trailer to plug it in to keep everything clean because you don't want to lose your camera signal because of dirt. So it's a whole new thing. It's got a special plug and you can see this plug at the bottom uh, has a special outlet that goes into this plug. So you got to spend a little bit of time figuring out how that fits and snaps into place. And this is a normal 7 RV. standard 360 camera view and rear view. So the 360 is on the right. You can see the cones around you, right? You see the pictorial of the truck in the middle. And then you're looking at the rear view camera in the left. That's out of the tailgate camera. So it's up high by the handle. You can see the regular green reverse park aid assistance lines as well as the center line that we could use to help decking a conventional trailer. So in the back there you see our target. You can use this view to help you get going and get back or you could zoom it in. That upper left hand button will expand the options that you have in reverse to pick different trailer cameras that can help you. There you are in a zoomed in view of that tailgate camera. That is the wide view of the tailgate camera. That is the center lamp high, the center high mount stop lamp, chimsel lamp, that looks down the bed. That is the aux camera, which if you had a trailer equipped like we do next door, it would pop up. And then this is a trailer reverse guidance feature. So if you had a trailer, you could activate it through here where you're at. So you can use this view, you can zoom in a little bit. All right, so we gotta get heading back that direction. But you know, uh, you guys familiar with gooseneck trailers, just the way they're shaped usually, and how you pull away and back up into them. So there's one thing we didn't do before we got in this truck. Hmm. Now what is that? You... Well, lower the tailgate. You got it. So to make it easier on the customer, the new Super Duty has a power tailgate release mechanism on certain trim models. So by your left knee is a button that looks like the rear end of a truck with the lip down. That'll drop the tail. Nice. Oh man, there goes my camera. <laughs> so now you've uh, you've actually spoiled your rear view camera and view, so you have to go back to choose another view. That one more over there. You go. There you go. So now we've got our Chimsel cameras. So this is our zoomed out view. The plus sign below that is the zoomed in view. Once you get your gooseneck trailer close enough to the ball to help you out. So we can use this. You see your dynamic hitching line, the white and black hashed. It's tied to the steering wheel angle sensor, so as you crank the wheel, you can watch that line move, and it'll show you the direction your truck will take. And then our simulated gooseneck uh, post is orange there, so you can get close, and once you get close enough, you can just feel free to zoom in and watch that oh, crap, hit the tailgate. <laughs> so does it tell us if the tailgate's tall enough to go over there, or the gooseneck's tall it enough does, to go over the gooseneck? It does not. It does not. You have to be not stupid. Well, I know. All right, there we go. That's easy. That's easy. That's the goal. That's the right answer. How was that? That's easy. That's what mm -hmm. we want to hear. Nice. So that's utilizing the, the Chimsel camera, right? And even the back. You could have even backed up further using the back camera before your remote to plug the tailgate if you wanted to. I mean, those options are all within the customer. 
other thing we can do here, if you put the, if you stop because of the speed uh, the speed timer, you put the truck in park, put it forward again. You can use the forward camera and encroach as close as you can to that front pole in front of it as another target. Oh, so it still thinks you're in reverse. Let's put it back in park. All right, now we're going to drive. I'll go. Drive so now, when, once you're in drive, yep, there you go. Once you're in drive, you activate, you uh, manually activate the camera. So now you've got the 360 view again, which you can uh -huh. use, or you can expand it to go into the close-up view or the wide view. Now, in the close-up view, you can see the bumper there at the bottom. That's your chrome bumper. And if you go to the wide view, it would just show you all the way out to the corner, mm -hmm. the edge of the headlamp, as well as the edge of the bumper. So this kind of thing, usually it's easiest to... You know, and can you uh, zoom in or not? Nope, you cannot, use, you cannot zoom in. No, this is, this is the zoomed view, if you would, of the front camera. So you use this to get close, and once you think you're close, you can jump back to that 360 view if you want it. Double check that 360 view to see the top down view how close you really are. So now we're looking at the post off to the right there, right? It's off center line of the truck, so it looks kind of off center line in the left hand picture. Uh, it doesn't appear that we can see the black of the bottom of the post, so you're, you're pretty darn close to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, we're at this Ford launch 2017 Super Duty in Colorado. Jennifer, what's your last name? Shaw. Jennifer Shaw, it's an easy name. Yep. And you are an expert in all these things, that new bliss blind spot thing, which, you know, I'm an old truck veteran, so I'm 20 years, 40 years, geez, I'm old, 40 years towing trailers, so a lot of that stuff to me is a distraction. But if I was a first time trader, I could see the guys who never backed up a trader, how intimidating they are, and that all is cool, I want to see all that stuff. Now the blind spot part on bliss, I like that. Because, you know, I use cameras back there that I keep on aftermarket cameras and all these things we do because you can't get a mirror wide enough to go back eight and a half feet. So I can see the first corner on the trailer, but not the rear corner, and that's where they sneak up on you. So I use a camera to see what those little cars are doing. Uh, and that works well for me, but uh, that bliss part of the, that actually, it's a sensor on the bottom of the mirrors, right? That knows what's the, the blind spot sneaking up on the trailer. Uh, the sensors are actually in the tail lamp lamps. Oh, they're in the tail lamps. Yep, they're radar sensors looking back. And when you hook up your trailer, they will extend the view of the radar to go all the way back to the end of the trailer and a little bit further than that. So they go 33 feet. The radar, that... right? The radar will detect the car way back there in your trailer's blind spot, and you'll get a light in your mirror to let you know that it's there. Right, because we're getting used to that in the mirror. A lot of vehicles have that lane departure kind of thing, but that is cool. And then it automatically will switch back to the truck when your trailer's unhooked. Correct. Yeah. That, that is cool. I, I, there's so many things you guys have done and taken all the mystery out of it. And that part I will use, and I want to look, I want to see all these other things. Shoot, I may have to put another camera in here to watch that steering wheel thing going on. Now I'm going to turn this camera on so we can watch the screens. All the activities comes on this screen, right? Correct, yes. Okay. Except you do have to select your trailer over on that screen, but it's not. Okay. I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah, there we go. Now, I put it in a braid and went to the seat, and <laughs> I got back too far. So put it in reverse. Let's park. There's, there we go. Holy cow, I moved a long time. Okay, I'm going to shut off some of these warnings. And now, look at that. Isn't that cool? That is, that's the 360, and that is my one on the back of the bumper. I want to look through all these. These are just so cool. That one is like a 360 degree. That one confuses me. That's a wide angle view. Wide angle view. For cross traffic. Okay. And Things like that. This one is the one on the top of the cab with that funny name. Now, this is what's cool about Ford. These lines in the middle. I'll move my steering wheel and you can see that line move around. That is cool. I don't think anybody else does that. Nope. But even on the bumper pull ones, that's so nice because you put that on your ball and that's where you go. Otherwise, you have this three foot opening there which doesn't tell you anything on a screen. But I love that line. So, back into Gooseneck is awesome. Yep, it'll guide you right to the hitch. Yep, that's, that is good. Okay, what's the auxiliary do? That's your trailer. Camera. That's the one behind the trailer. That is so cool. And that's the one that'll help you back in those parking lots at the hotel without hitting somebody. That's where I'd be using. I just wish it stayed on all the time, but I guess we can't do that. Some kind of a law. Yeah. And trailer reverse guidance. What's this one do? 
That's that weird thing, which is weird because that's almost like, is that a wide angle? It is using the cameras and the side mirrors looking okay. back. Yeah, the somewhere sides down of the trailer. here. So I can see the camera somewhere in there. Yeah, that is cool. So if you select the trailer over there in the information display. Okay, so that's the BFT. Let's we'll select that one. Yep. And then it looks for that sticker back there. I've got one on my trailer because I've done that other one on the 150. Correct. Now cool. you're all set. Now I'm ready I'm all to set. go. Oh, now see these. That will actually tell you when you're jackknifed? When you're getting close to jackknifed. Okay, yes. so give you a yellow and then if you actually hit something, it probably goes red after it hits the bumper? It'll go red <laughs> to warn you, no, to warn you that okay. you're almost there. You should probably pull forward. Cool. And then if I hit the steering wheel one, that. This is our straight backup mode. Oh. So okay. it's going to help you to back up straight. And when you actually start moving, you'll see that it'll provide arrows on the steering wheel to help. Yes, that is cool. There's too many buttons. I could be playing with this thing all day. <laughs> and that one is yeah. that one. And then this one has the steering wheel one on it? Yeah, you have to select the trailer again, though, because you, oh, you okay. exited the feature. So yeah, I'm already select confused. your trailer again. There okay. you go. Oh, yeah, now there's that. Yep. And there's the steering wheel one. The steering wheel's right there. Good. That's for backing up straight, but how do I get the one where it shows a light on each side? That was just the previous screen. It wasn't one on with the steering wheel? No, the steering, do you mean, so as you start backing up, if your trailer starts drifting, there will be an arrow right here that shows oh. you to turn the wheel one oh, way okay. or the other. Oh, okay, that's what I'm missing. I'm right. missing arrow. You're okay. straight, your trailer is straight behind you right now, so. Hey, son. Okay, now, let's see if we can jackknife this and get into trouble. <laughs> So well, you don't want to necessarily see. Now it's telling yeah. you to turn the wheel to the other way. Yeah, so this is if I want to back up straight. Yep, exactly. I can almost see the trailers in the mirror and now the you screen. Want to st straighten up again. Yeah, wow, that's cool. And now we're. Okay, and then how do I. That's cool. And then can I switch from this mode to the trailer camera? Mm -hmm. Uh, the trailer is it, camera. Is you, it hard to do? So. You exit trailer reverse guidance and select the trailer okay, camera. Okay, so you got to go through a few screens. Yeah. That's what I would want to do when I was doing this. Also use that backup camera behind me in addition to this. Let's see what I'm doing. Wow. That's cool. Okay. Now, how do I get it where there's a, a red warning on this screen on the steering wheel? You just press... Well, the red warnings are in this screen. Oh, it's that one. Just that okay, one. so string, I thought the string wheel had some kind no, of... No, the steering wheel is uh, just, it's just the arrows to let you know how to turn your wheel so that you can stay straight. Okay, well, there's a... Yeah, I can back up a ways because there's a little road back there. Let's see what this does. Probably, because you know, in the CDL, you got to do a parallel park. You can use just a parallel park. <laughs> You could that in conjunction with the trailer camera it would be pretty handy. Yeah, I probably think that's cheating though. Because all this will work with a gooseneck too, right? Um, the <laughs> views are available with a gooseneck. The automated <coughs> features like the little icon and the steering wheel are not available because those okay. require the sticker and the trailer angle detection. Okay. Now this one, until I'm on a road, I can't use that, the bliss part that shows that little car sneaking around my corner. Right. You can't demonstrate this at slow speed. Probably. Well, you can demonstrate it at low, relatively low speeds, but we don't have another vehicle around to drive oh, by you. Oh, somebody can... You need a vehicle to drive by. Can we get a bicycle to drive, to drive by? Would that be enough? Or does it have to be a full a car? Um, does it know what size vehicle that it's looking for? Because bicycles can get... It can detect the bicycles. Right the yeah. system can detect bicycles. Um, it, we tune out pedestrians because it's intended to be a, more of a vehicle type right. feature. Yeah. Um, you're driving down the road, so... Man, this would be fun. Now we got to read the owner's manual and do all kinds of things. Learn how to drive these trucks. Well, you know, the trailer reverse guidance system comes with its own quick start guide. So it in the screen on the truck. Um, no, it's a separate book. Oh, okay. Um, and it has a measurement cards and stickers. So we try to make it as simple as possible to set it up. Um, we also have videos that are available online. So there's a QR code on the quick start guide. You can scan it. It'll automatically pull up the videos, or you can find them on the Ford. Um, okay. there's, there will be a website called TrailerReverseGuidance.com okay. where you can find <laughs> the videos. Well, so I'm glad there's a you know a dedicated button because I, I hate to have to go through a bunch of screens to find stuff and I like buttons yep. to get me to that screen and I can play from there. Exactly. Well, that's cool. Well, Jennifer, this was fun. Yeah, thanks Now, so we got to find that truck that I can shut it off and try to do that 
uh, yeah, the, adaptive, the, steering the adaptive steering demonstration. That's what I need to do next. Yep.